Hello and welcome to Clever Woodworks. After trying several conglomerate brands of gluten-free pizza that offer little taste, I have come up with a method that works better than an overpriced piece of cardboard. Today I will show you how to make a pizza pill and the method that I use to make even gluten-free dough taste like a treat. The barbecue mats that I use to roll out the dough and cook on can be found in the description and are 13 by 16 inches so I cut enough of the boards to span that measure. There are 6 one by 3s at 14 and a half inches and 1 at 23 and a quarter inches for the handle. Note that you do want to pay attention to your hand size so that the handle is not too cumbersome. When you are creating a flat edge on all the pieces with the router, make sure that you have some sort of mark on the boards so that you know to cut the other side with the table saw to create two plain surfaces for your glue up. Once all the boards are plain, line them up for your desired look and number them just in case anything falls. And you can stack them up to the side while you set up your clamps for the glue up. Once all of your clamps and bottom callings are in place, lay the boards back into the order that you wanted them and flip all but one of the edge boards up to receive some wood glue and flip them back down. It is useful to use a board to align the bottom of the pizza pill. For the best of joining operations, you are looking for small increments of pressure and I've always found it better to use the columns first, then go to the side clamps as this helps keep everything nice and level. After a day for the glue to set, it's time to sand and smooth out both sides of the pizza pill. Afterwards, the bottom of the pizza pill needs squaring up. I have found that a good saw guide and a speed square work best for this operation. With the guide four inches away from the edge, as this is what the blade guard measures, after cutting it, never hurts to check your work with a simple straight edge. A rounded corner can give the pizza pill a much smoother look. Just make sure that the templates match up with the guide bearings. Do not try to do the handle with the templates as they do need two points or two edges to make a secure fit. And if you don't have um, a template to work with, just use a can or some other round object in a jigsaw to make the rounded edges. This is where that square edge is really going to pay off. Moving the saw blade to a 10 degree angle and the fence close enough to help create a wedge so that you can scoop the pizza rather easily off the grill. Don't be afraid to use a sander to help shape the edge so that the wedge can scoop the pizza off the grill with minimal effort. 
I used a Forstner bit to make a hole at the top of the handle to hang it up. As well, I went through with a roundover bit on both sides to give it a really great look. As for the treatment, I used a food grade oil for worktop surfaces. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, I'll be sure to get back to them. If you like what you see, please share and subscribe. Thank you.